All right. That is the three ingredients that I forgot to put in that last video. Hello, Americans. And another friend subscribes around the world. But here, man. We are today going to... We're going to try that same marinade. You know, and then you put the coriander on afterwards. And the, uh... It's the Off Grid Warrior. Man, check him out. His man, I love his channel. He does some great stuff. But that is who I'd seen this on, on his video. So I tried to follow, follow along and do that with the steaks. And I'll tell you what, man, it is tasty. And now we're going to try it on pork chops. So I'm going to film that too. So this, we have apple cider vinegar. Um, made pretty local, man, just down in Fruitland, Idaho. So that's pretty close. But then we have some more. War war I always have the heck we're trying with this. Worcester sauce. <laughs> and Soraka. Now, this isn't the brand of the Soraka, and we couldn't find the brand that we like, but did find some yesterday. So, But we still have this left, and it's pretty good. So we're going to try that. And then coriander on top. One, two. Start a little fire over here. Little, uh, little thing of pitch. Get this rock and roll. Whoops. Some of this we got some apple wood left from last time. Squeeze it too. Might as well. And then I'm gonna cut some. Here we go again, man, with seaside. Seaside! This stuff I'm going to uh sum up in smaller chunks and we're not uh well, it'll be smoked. This one we're just wood cooking, man. So this time we're just gonna. This time we're just gonna sauce them up a little bit. And obviously, uh, it's been sitting out here, so I didn't have to worry about uh, wetting it down because it's definitely been wet enough. We'll add a few uh, pieces of this to get it going. Give this thing to add some uh, other wood. Let me get it really sparking up. We're just doing uh, three pork chops, so it ain't gonna. You ain't gonna take all that much to get her, get her done, but I just thought you might wanna see an old man the steak. The steak was amazing. Amazing. I was pretty uh pretty happy with it. And then uh I'm like, well heck man, we might as well try this on on pork too. So we're gonna let that fire get going. And shut this Bring it down a little bit. <clears throat> then I cleaned these, you know, the up and down on this new K. Man, it was getting stiff, and I thought it was like rusted out or something. So I ended up using a little sandpaper or whatever and, you know, ran it up and down a little bit. Wire brush, actually, too. And, uh, 
You know, I'm gonna spray some WD on it and it's going up and down. Up and down good now, so that makes me happy. Yeah, now that I say that. <laughs> oh, it's got to be a little bit, it's leaning. For, it might be just the way this thing's sitting, too. Anyway, got that thing set. Going to let this warm up a little bit. That wood catch fire, and then we'll get them, get it. Got to get the fire going here, get up some, you know, build, build up enough coals. And then we'll put the coals underneath the, you know, over in the cooking area after they stop flaming. So we've got to build that up and then we'll be back. So now we got some coals. We'll put the coals. You can see the, you probably can't see it, but got coals. See? Just like that, man. This. This burning what get that get that up to temp. Get those going and uh I don't know if you can see it. some more apple wood, so I'll get those up to coals so that I can put those underneath while we get the uh pork chops going here. So I'm gonna give it a little bit, man. I'll let it get up to about 200, and it'll still be climbing. And then put them pork chops on. Hey, man. So we're up to about 225. And it'll go up a little bit more. Coals are looking good. <coughs> Got extra apple wood. Now that's so that is pork chops in the marinade and. Uh, with coriander sprinkled over the top. That is one big chop right there. There's sizzle. Yeah. These ones, man, I'm just uh, straight cooking that last time. You know, I was going to try to smoke them. <laughs> Things just didn't work out, man. And they, but they still turned out amazing. As soon as I get my smoker, I was working on wood a little bit today, but as soon as I get all the wood out of the front of the smoker, then we're going to get some more steak and do that. Everything he said, and I'm going to try to roast some coriander. And I want to hang some and smoke some just because just that's the way that he was saying it. So, and it sounded amazing. Time to flip them. Time to flip them. Ooh, looking good. Looking good. This is cooking in about, about 250. So I figured 250 probably, uh, probably 30 minutes. And we're probably, uh, 10 minutes in or something. So, uh, I think I'm going to scoop these coals over here. Yeah. I love this new K. Love it. Well, Muskrat keeps saying he's going to build it one like it. So it should be 175. I don't know about that. I don't know about these meat testers. <laughs> I don't know about that. They look pretty much done. I think I'm gonna get a knife and check it. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Getting pretty dark here. I'm gonna use a knife. That, that Need to test it out on my back. Yep. Yep. Looks pretty good. Let's try this. So now, now we're trying the pork. Let me get this cut off here. 
Ooh, yeah, you can't even know if you can see it, it's too dark. Alright, so let's give the pork a try. Oh, dude. Dude, that marinade, man, is... Man, it is good, man. You've got to try that. And I don't know what he calls it. Anything like the, that, man. So I'm just calling it the, huh, the off-grid warrior recipe, <laughs> man, because it is good. Thank you for sharing that. Man, amazing. So I'm going to go get a plate. It's time for dinner. Good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.